Echoes of Pink Floyd comes to the Capitol Theatre in Bendigo on Saturday the 3rd of June. Matt Goodluck is the voice you hear at the show. He's been good enough to join me on the line. G'day, Matt. How are you going? Very well, thanks, Sean. Nice to be here. Yeah, great to speak to you. What can we expect from the show? Well, I think if you're a Floyd uh, tragic like we are, I think uh, you won't be disappointed. We've got a lot of music to play for, uh, for people in Bendigo. Uh, a couple of new tunes that we've added to our set. It's going to be a big production and a few surprises uh, along the way. So uh, it should be a lot of fun. Well, I was going to ask you that. I know you've been together for about eight years. How's the show changed over the years? Uh, well, it has changed considerably. Um, I've only been with the band well, coming up for three years now. Uh, so obviously I'm a new addition. <laughs> uh, I was I was the most recent member to uh, to join the lineup, um, but I think uh, overall the the band's changed considerably in that time. In that you know it started out as basically a band playing Pink Floyd covers in local pubs around Adelaide, uh, and now it's really jumped to um, a show. You know it's a show that's performed in small theatres. Uh, it's a big production. We use. Uh, uh, great light show and uh, a lot of video footage uh, throughout the show. Uh, so it's almost a, a semi-theatrical uh, performance, really. Well, that's exactly what I was going to ask you, Matt, because I was lucky enough to see Pink Floyd in, I think it was 87 or 88. It was just, a, well, it was more than just a concert. It was more like an experience with the lights, the music and the visual effects. Is that the same way you see your shows as, as an experience? Absolutely. I mean, uh, look, I'll be honest with you. We, we may not be quite on the same <laughs> scale as, as the real deal, but, uh, you know, budgets need to be uh, <laughs> taken into account there. Uh, we couldn't all mortgage our homes to, uh, <laughs> to a show like the real Floyd. But, look, I think uh, without... Um, sounding uh, too extravagant. It's probably the closest thing you're going to see in Australia now. So, um, uh, you know, we're very proud of how we've built up the show and it is a real experience. So many great Pink Floyd songs. How do you put together your set? That is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> because, uh, as you say, there, there's so many songs to choose from. There's so many different eras of Pink Floyd to choose from. And, uh, you know, we're all big fans, so we've all got our own opinions of what we could be playing and, and that sort of thing. But generally, most of the time, we leave the set list up to our guitarist, Daniel Hunter, to, to put together. And uh, he usually does a great job of it. And uh, as I said uh, earlier, we've got a couple of new songs that we've thrown into the set this time around. So it's exciting for us as well. A lot of people probably think that Pink Floyd started with Dark Side of the Moon, but they released seven albums before Dark Side. How far do you go back with your show? Uh, that's right. So um, we don't actually go all the way back to the Sid Barrett era, uh, not because we've got anything against it. You know, it's, it's great music, but you kind of got to draw a line somewhere. I mean, I think it would be nice to include uh, something from the Sid Barrett era one day. But uh, we go back to the metal album, which is from 1971, which is just sort of prior to Dark Side of the Moon. Do you have a Sid Barrett, maybe someone that comes on the stage and just stands there? Because I think that's all that Sid did in his final years. I've never been asked that, but uh, you know what? That's not that's not a bad idea. Maybe we could put someone in a white coat, <laughs> catatonic state, and just stand them in the corner of the stage. <laughs> and, and I guess Dave Gilmore and Roger Waters sang on different Floyd tracks, and their voices are quite different. Is that a challenge for you to face? Um, look, not really. I, I'm quite lucky in that my, my uh, vocal range is quite broad, so I'm able to capture both of those uh, vocalists fairly easily. Um, so I'm quite lucky there. Um, and I love singing, uh, you know, both uh, both vocalists. David Gilmore has got a, a much more deeper, uh, smoother range, and, and Roger Waters has got that sort of higher end range. And after Bendigo, you're going around uh, all around Victoria, including Ballarat, on the 23rd of June. Do you get much time to see the town or the city you're uh, travelling to, or is it mainly gigging, sleeping, and travelling? Yeah, look, we don't have a lot of time to spend in the town, so I, I usually try and get out. Uh, for a quick walk in the afternoon but you know you're, you're generally staying fairly close to where the venue is so uh, but look um, Bendigo we've been to once before as we we've been to Ballarat a couple of times now and beautiful towns um, you know it's a real pleasure to be able to travel around the country and, and play beautiful theatres as well you know you've got some uh, some classic old theatres that we've uh, we've performed in and it's a, that's a real pleasure um, so, yeah, look, I mean, if we can, uh, we, we like to get to see a little bit of the town. Echoes of Pink Floyd comes to the Capitol Theatre in Bendigo on Saturday the 3rd of June. Matt Goodluck is up the front of the band. He's been my guest. Thanks, Matt. We'll see you in Bendigo very soon. Thanks so much, Sean. We're looking forward to it. Don't
Yeah.